Sir, who was born in Clifton, New Jersey, May 6, 1937, now lives in Patterson, New Jersey. In the corner with him, facing him head on, is trainer Nick Florio. On the left-hand side is manager Carmine Tedeschi. And on the right-hand side, one of the fine handlers of boxing around here, Chicky Ferreira. That's the corner of Ruben Hurricane Carter, the knocker outer. On the other side of the ring, we've got James Ellis from Louisville, Kentucky. In the corner with him is manager facing him head on is Bud Gruner, who was also the manager of the late Rudell Stitch, who was drowned trying to rescue a friend from drowning. On the right-hand side, Charlie Goldman, who was with Rocky Marciano. And uh, the popular Sid Martin is on the left. He's from the Emil Griffith camp. Here's James Ellis, born in Louisville, February 24th, 1940. Coming up to round three now, Reuben Carter, the black trunks, James Ellis in white. calm about it. Caught of trying for the knockout. Those jabs are not quite getting in there. The right grazed the chin. Referee Joe Lascalzo gets him apart. Old time boxing being brought to the garden by James Ellis. that got in there by Ellis. Carter is risking his uh, ranking in this fight. He's ranked number one by the World Boxing Association. Joey Archer second, a hard right by Carter. The Ring Magazine recognizes Archer first and Carter second behind champion Joey Giardello. One minute to go in round three. Carter only needs one big equalizer. Ellis, of course, knows that. Carter scored well to the body, grazed to the chin. <laughs> Ten seconds to go on round three. Here's the bell. <laughs> Round four at Madison Square Garden. Hurricane Carter, black trunks, James Ellis in white. Carter is starting to press a little more. Keep after Ellis. Notice how quick Carter gets that left hook out there. It's a flash.
Jealous gals are getting them apart. There's that one two we told you about, the left and the right. Carter has scored some uh, hard punches to the body, which could take a toll on young Ellis later in the fight. Less than a minute to go in round four. Ellis trying to get his right hand in there, looking for a spot for it. There it is. Now Ellis is starting to go for the body, has his car. Right hand by Carter. Starting at 2.30 p.m., 1.30 Central Time, that's Challenge Golf, starring Arnold Palmer and Gary Player. At 3.30, the Professional Bowlers Tour visits Birmingham, Alabama. At 5 p.m., 4 p.m. Central Time, ABC's Wide World of Sports covers the National Ski Jumping Championships from Ishpeming, Michigan, and the NASCAR 500-mile stock car race at Daytona Beach, Florida. And don't forget, fans, funds are still needed to pay the cost of sending our amateur athletes to Tokyo. Send your donation to Olympic House, Department A, New York City. ABC has pledged to raise $250,000 for the U.S. Olympic Committee. Among the guests tonight, many members of the wholesale druggists who are having meetings in New York. James Ellis coming out for round five. was doing a fine boxing job until uh, he ran into that right hand by Carter in the last round. The big equalizer. Very hard punch to the body with that left hook by Carter. Calculated to slow down anybody. Ellis is looking for a spot to put his right hand back in big. He'll throw it from behind the left jab when he does. Now Carter is starting to score heavily. And it's a question how long the youngster can stand up under those punches. Oh, look at those muscles on Carter. Carter has developed a jab since we last saw him. Milling is in Ellis' corner. Carter is back to the ropes. Joe Scalzo getting them apart. One minute to go in round five. Let's go. 
You notice how calm and deliberate Reuben Carter is about the whole thing. He knows he can end it any time if he gets that big punch in there. Almost got it in there, too. Ten seconds to go in round five. 